Where'd you hide it? Where is it? You've really settled into your role here. And I think I almost saw you listening to me at one point. And to think we've had you living in our midst all this long, undiscovered? Well, after six months staring at the same pictures on the walls, I had to find something to do to entertain myself. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, Alan. Souls to save. Say no more, Father. Turn it. That's it. I have the kettle on. I can make a cup of tea before I go. Yeah, please. Marcy called while you were out. Yeah? Yeah. She wanted to know if she had the taxi book for tomorrow or not. Yeah, it's all organised. I hope you told her not to worry. Yeah, yeah, of course. Alan? Yeah? Do you think it's a good idea to be bringing her out for dinner tonight? It is a really long flight back. You bloody told her, didn't you? I just know that she's not going to want to go. It is a really long flight back. The last thing she's going to want to do is leave the house again. I haven't seen her in over a year. It's a nice meal, too much to ask for. It's not like she's swimming back. All the more reason for you to stay in. You have so much catching up to do. Fine. Thank you. Will you remember to call the restaurant to cancel? Yeah, Gran. Too good, Alan. Have a good weekend. Yeah. You too. Five of the day. Sorry, good evening. I've 
cup of tea for you now, mate. So the flight was all right anyway? Yeah, it was grand. I ended up sitting beside a really interesting man on the plane, actually. He was a doctor for Doctors Across Borders. He was just back from a year-long tour of Africa. Sounds interesting, all right. Yeah. He showed me some photos of the places he's been. The conditions these people are living in are appalling. I felt so sorry for them. Yes, well... Can't help everyone, I'm afraid. So, does that mean we shouldn't try to help anyone? Surely you've worked up an appetite on your travels? Dad, I haven't eaten meat in nine months. I'm a vegetarian. Jesus Christ. What? Nothing. I'll, um, I'll make you some porridge, so. It's fine. I'm not hungry. You must be hungry after your journey, Morris. I told you I was a vegetarian in the letter I sent at Easter. Clearly, I haven't read it. Nothing has changed, so. What the hell do you expect? You dumped me. That's not fair. Fair? Or the poor, starving children in Africa? What about me? You gave me your blessings when I left. What was I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to go smoking pot and pretending you give a shit about the state of the world. Don't worry. What choice did I have but to let you go? You knew I needed you here. It wasn't like that at all, and you know it. Oh, I know. I couldn't sit around here anymore, Dad. If you had the option to stay, would you? I'd look after my father. There wouldn't even have been a conversation. the only one who loves her. It sure feels like that sometimes. Where are you going? I've got mass at seven. Got to get my stuff ready. I don't know what you're going to eat, but you know where everything is. All right. 